السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. How are you everyone? And إن شاء الله إن شاء الله الله will allow us to live until we reach the holy months of Ramadan. So I need to say Ramadan Kareem, but we are not in Ramadan. So إن شاء الله إن شاء الله we'll be alive until we be witness Ramadan إن شاء الله إن شاء الله after two or three days from now. So uh, brothers and sister. Um, كل عام وانتم بخير and ان شاء الله every year will be the best for you in terms of your relationship to Allah in terms to your uh, be closer to Allah to be closer uh, even uh, to the good deeds uh, to, uh, to your good friends and your good colleagues and uh, please uh, everyone mute your mic and excuse me I already muted all <clears throat> Uh, whoever want to participate with me, this is uh, the sister who asked about what is the Nizam, yani what is, uh, yani how we are organized our lecture. So anyone who want to practice with us, kindly raise your hand so you will be part of the conversation. Okay, what is our, uh, what, we, what we are doing, yani, yani brother and sister, what we are doing, we are studying Islamic topics. And uh, we so far, alhamdulillah, we finish a grade one book of Islamic studies. Unfortunately, I am not presenting this book now. However, this already studied and already completed and already re we had a couple of revision as well. And uh, mashallah, if you are part of our Telegram group or Facebook, Facebook group, you will notice a lot of uh, workshop training which is targeted the teachers that they are aiming to uh, teach other non-Arab speakers in the sake of Allah, in the sake of them to uh, teach them Islam and teach them how to pray, how to make wudu, how to learn more about Islam, especially the newcomers to our uh, beautiful religion, our Islam. And uh, we welcome anyone who is entering Islam recently to be part of our conversation as well, you can, يعني, يعني, with your whatever brave heart you have to speak with us and raise your hand and express your feeling about Islam and how it is beautiful. يعني, so sister, uh, we already alhamdulillah studied this grade one book. Uh, it is in our Telegram group. I can share with you and uh, inshallah after I finish my introduction, I will write in the chat or any sister can help me to write in the chat the telegram group for the sister she asked. Uh, Inshallah, I will share with you also. If you did it notice the grade one book, I will share with you as well, which we already studied so far. And if you are just new joining to our group, we already, as I told, we finished the grade one book, which contain about of 30 chapters, 3 zero. And we, alhamdulillah, have gone through it uh, in a beautiful way that uh, most of the teachers uh, with us, they are participating and they are encouraged themselves to be part of the conversations. And mashallah, they will a great job, mashallah, in terms of training, and they are doing a great job. So mashallah, I consider whoever participates me, he is about to, uh, to take the lead and teach others, teach others who are not uh, Arab speaker. They are not uh, native language in, <clears throat> in Arabic. So what about today? Okay, uh, as we said uh, in the, our, so our group, that uh, we will take the holy months of Ramadan as a vacation or holiday. We'll take it free and we will not spend more time in workshop training. However, uh, Maybe I will, inshallah, arrange for quick lessons for you. Whoever need to participate with me, I will do some quick lessons for you. I'm thinking still about some topics that I will need to share with you in Ramadan, but still it is not completed. That's why I am didn't announce yet. Yeah, I didn't I didn't announce yet about it. But today we agreed on that we may speak about Ramadan, the holy month of Ramadan, and how we prepare ourselves for Ramadan. And as you know, mashallah, Ramadan is coming close and we almost two days closer to Ramadan. This book that I am sharing now, it is a so beautiful book. It is actually aimed at the children who are still young to prepare themselves as to do some kind of planning, to plan themselves 
uh, to take benefit of Ramadan during the 30 day of Ramadan. So they start from day one until day 30 and you as a parent or as a teacher, they, you are watching them and you are training them how they utilize their time to get the benefit things in Ramadan and how they plan the things. So this is also one of the things that they can use it in this calendar or this sheet is like also planning sheet how what they are doing like reading Quran and making dua and doing good manners and learning about Islam. This is like worksheet and every day they are doing, you know, as you see, this is mashallah very good book I shared with you in Telegram as well, right? Okay, and in the second, this page, this speaks, this book about some uh, dua, supplications or some prayers that you recommended to mention in your day and, and night. It's, it's not only in Ramadan, but it's good to say it, good to say it. Let's start with first dua. In Arabic says, Allahumma inni as'aluka ilman nafi'a wa rizqan tayyiba wa amalan mutaqabbala. What that means in English? It means, O oh Allah, Allahumma, O oh Allah, inni as'aluk, I ask you, I ask you, ilman for knowledge, ilman nafi'a, for knowledge that is, it is, it is of benefit, so the knowledge that it can benefit me. وَرِزْقًا طَيِّبًا A good provision. وَعَمَلًا مُتَقَبَّلًا And deeds that will be accepted. So, O oh Allah, I ask you a knowledge that it will benefit me, a good provision in this uh, life, in this dunya, and deeds, good deeds that will be <coughs> accepted. This is very good dua. And it is recommended if you are not a native Arabic to memorize it in Arabic as well, so that you will say it as Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him says. But if you say it in English, it's okay also. Don't take it everything hard. Take it everything easy. Take it easy. So the second also dua we can say about it. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min munkarat al-akhlaq wal-a'mal wal-ahwa wal-adwa. So, O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from undesirable manners. Munkurat al akhlaq undesirable manners and deeds, al amal and desires, al ahwa and diseases, al amrad. Amen. So, this is like yani, quick, uh, yani, you can read it the rest if you want to read it with me, no problem. But it is last, yani, like I'm sharing with you quick about uh, dua. Yani in Ramadan, brothers and sisters, it is very highly recommended to always yani, keep your tongue full of dua, of ad'iyah, of supplications, of the prayer to Allah. Make always your tongue busy with dhikr of Allah, of remembering Allah. Remember Allah on the day and night in Ramadan. The rewards on Ramadan is multiply. It's multiply maybe 70 times. You imagine, and everything, even the fard you are doing, the prayer you are doing in Ramadan is multiply whatever the rewards multiply. Um, I believe it's 70 times the same prayers that you are doing in normal days. So in Ramadan is the month of blessing. So what is Ramadan? Ramadan is the ninth month in the Hijri calendar or Arabic calendar. It comes at the ninth month. It is month number nine and Ramadan is a um, month of Quran so in Ramadan Quran has been revealed so Shahr Ramadan Hawaii Shahr Ramadan الذي أنزل فيه القرآن so this is in Arabic so the month of Ramadan or Shahr Ramadan is the month which Quran being revealed to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, he received the Quran, the holy book, holy book of Quran, the first ayah in Ramadan, which was Iqra, Iqra bism rabbika alladhi khalaq. So Ramadan is a blessing month. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Almighty, he uh, specified or identified the month of Ramadan with a lot of blessing, a lot of barakah, a lot of things that is very good for us. 
That's why you can consider how it is a prayer is multiplied, the reward is multiplied. Whatever you do, any good deeds you do in Ramadan, it will be multiplied. So the things that you are doing in Ramadan is, mashallah, is multiplied. So don't forget that, that Ramadan is a month of blessing and seize the opportunity to take every single moment, to take uh, any single reward, any single good deed, any single hasanat, that it will, inshallah, be in your skill during the hereafter or the day of judgment. يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُ مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ So as I said, the month of Ramadan is that in which was revealed the Qur'an. شهر رمضان هو الشهر الذي أنزل فيه القرآن. A guidance for, for the people, هدى للناس. And the clear proofs of guidance and creator. وبينات من الهدى والفرقان. So this is in Al-Baqarah. <coughs> Uh, Surah Al-Baqarah. So the Ramadan, as we said, is the ninth month of Islamic calendar. It's very special because Allah revealed the Quran in this month, and that Quran already guides us to Allah, subhanAllah. And not only that, also the, uh, yani the acts of obedience to Allah and good deeds during Ramadan have a great reward. So the Muslim should be eager to do all whatever he needs to please Allah, to please Allah, hatta yurdillah, so that Allah will love him and reward him greatly. Okay, brothers and sisters, you are following me? So this is like a quick introduction about Ramadan and how we should prepare ourselves. Yani preparing here is not to do go to the supermarket or hypermarket to bring food and drinks. For the sake of we are going to fast, so you don't have food or drinks, so we are going to prepare yourself. No, and this is not the preparation. Prepare yourself means prepare your heart. Prepare your heart. Make your heart ready to welcoming Ramadan. Prepare your heart to repent and to return to Allah now. Return now if you are doing a sense, if you are not doing a good deed, return now before the month of Ramadan start. Return now to Allah. This is the thing that you need to prepare yourself, prepare your heart to be closer to Allah. So when month of Ramadan will come, your heart you will be ready to welcome it. Imagine that you have a guest and the guest, he will enter your house and he inform you that I will come to you next Tuesday. So the guest, he informed you already, he planning to come next Tuesday. So you, he will enter your house, imagine that. So what you will do? You need to plan it, right? You need to prepare, you need to prepare the things. You need to bear a lot of things. You need to welcome the guest. You need to give him a lot of things that he should deserve. This is not a simple guest, this is Ramadan. And imagine that he is he in, he announced that I am coming to you. I am coming next Tuesday. So what's the kind of preparation we done so far for Ramadan? How we how we read Quran? How we have a good plan? How we intend to do prayer in Ramadan more and more? How we intend to do a qiyam prayer or tarawih prayer, which is Yani very recommended, whoever, whoever do Qiyam. Qiyam means that you are standing in prayer, which is uh, doing a lot of prayers in Ramadan after Isha prayer. And it's not mandatory, it is optional. However, in Ramadan, if you do this kind of prayers, Allah will forgive all your sins in Ramadan. SubhanAllah. So you imagine the blessing of Allah. So, man qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. So, whoever he do this kind of prayer, standing and praying to Allah every night, imanan wa ihtisaban, he is believing that Allah will forgive him. Ihtisaban, that in sake of Allah, he is not looking to anyone. He is just looking to Allah and he is just expecting the reward from Allah only. This is ihtisaban, that in sake of Allah, so what's the result? What's the reward? Allah will forgive all of his sins. Whatever he did in the past, Allah will forgive everything. This is one hadith. And also another hadith about Ramadan. Man sama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqaddama min zambi. 
whoever fast Ramadan, Iman means from his heart with his intentions that he's doing this and believing that Allah will forgive him. Ihtisaban, he's doing that only in the sake of Allah. He's not doing that because he needs some other to tell him that he's, mashallah, fasting or he needs any reward from anybody or any reward from his family or any reward from his community. He, he, he did only from Allah. So this is ihtisab in sake of Allah. So whoever is fasting the holy month of Ramadan in sake of Allah and he's believing in Allah rewards, imagine what is the result? Allah will forgive all of his sins. And there is also another hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He said, Man qama laylata al qadri imanan wa ihtisaban ghufira lahu ma taqadda min zambi. Imagine that if you only, if you only stand and pray all the night of Laylat al Qadr, the night of Qadr is only one night. It is only at the last tenth night of Ramadan. You only discover this night at the last tenth days, nights in Ramadan. Only if you pray this night and you standing praying to Allah only in one night, Allah will forgive all your sins. So Ramadan, brothers and sisters, is mashallah, it is very beautiful guest. It's not only coming to us to just say, I am coming, just visiting you and I'm leaving. No, he's coming with a lot of blessing, a lot of rewards to you. Whoever is welcoming better Ramadan, he will gain a lot of rewards. Who is ready to welcoming Ramadan in sake of Allah, he will, mashallah, gain a lot of rewards more than anyone. It is like a track and we are in competition and we are in running competition and we said just to start. Whoever already he was doing exercises before he starts this track or this running competition, mashallah, whoever is ready, whoever planning to do a lot of things, he, mashallah, mashallah, will definitely be in the first stop because he prepared himself يعني better before the competition start. Now it is competition. وفي ذلك فليتنافس المتنافسون. It is a good competition. It is healthy competitions. Allah will reward all of us if all of us are the winners. Allah سبحانه وتعالى خزائنه لا تنفد. Allah سبحانه وتعالى whatever he have he will give for everyone. يعني we don't say that only one winner. If we all are the winners, Allah will reward all of us. From his mercy, subhanahu wa ta'ala, because Allah Almighty, He has a lot of mercy. He's the most merciful. And subhanahu wa ta'ala, He's the most forgiveness and subhanahu wa ta'ala, most forgiver. And subhanallah, if we seek forgiveness for Allah, He will forgive us. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is it is really opportunity, and we need to enhance it. And subhanallah, we need to take this and seize this opportunity to be closer to Allah and not to forget that in Ramadan. All the doors of he of, of, of paradise, uh, Jannah will be open. So all the doors, imagine all the doors of paradise, all the doors of heavens, all the doors will open for you. In sake of what? In sake of Allah, that Allah is asking you to be close to Him. And at the opposite, all the all the doors of fire will be closed, and all the evils will be restricted. Shatin to suffer. All the evils will be restricted and they will not be allowed to whisper you and to deviate you from the straight path. So Allah will give you a lot of reward, a lot of opportunity to return, to return. If you are not returning to Allah in the month of Ramadan, so when you will return to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is things that we need to take it opportunity before it will be lost. Yani, now you are alive. Maybe after a while you will be died, you will pass away. So take the opportunity that you are alive now to be closer to Allah, to do a good deeds, to do a good things. That Allah will be pleased when He will you will meet Him in the hereafter, in the day of judgment. So this is the things. One thing, one thing is to take what take the opportunity that you are alive. The other thing is that Sister Bas tried to say that if you are rich now, if you have a wealth. Take the opportunity that you are have money now before you don't know in the future or in the 
after year or after months, whatever, because of whatever circum circumstances or whatever the things will uh, happen in during the war, you see the coronavirus, whatever the change will come, maybe you will not be in a good world. So take this opportunity to do, good, to do a good deed, do a good deed. To, this Allah, Allah said in Quran, وَأَنْفِقُوا مِنْ مَالِ اللَّهِ الَّذِي آتَاكُمْ So this money that we have, it is from Allah, actually. It is from Allah. So we need to consider the poor or the people that they are in need for a portion from our money. We are not saying till give them all your money, but consider that when you are in, in, in a good condition, good money condition and good wealth, remember that. Remember that before that thing is maybe changed and you will not be able to give us others you are now yani, try, yani can you can give others what else try sister best not tell us you can give from your free time right for all so from your free time as we are doing now we are studying together islamic topics in our free times right so we try to enhance or to utilize our free times for good things rather than going for any other things is not good right and maybe in the future we'll be so busy with the things that we are not able to provide others some good information so why not we have now now a free time so we can share with others so uh, this is the things that I can remember so far from your presentation, Sister Basma. So Jazakallah kulli khair. And uh, definitely uh, your yas before you become old. So if you are in, uh, in a good uh, age now, so it is an opportunity to do a lot of things before you become old. And also the last things, your health before you become sick. So if you are in good health condition, it is good also opportunity for you to in utilize that opportunity to do a good of things, to do a lot of ibadah, to worship Allah more. Uh, if you become sick, subhanAllah, you will not be able to do so. However, for ibadah, for worshiping Allah, I will tell you something very good news for you. If you used to do, for example, uh, a Fajr prayer in, in, on time, and in your good health, and you are doing this every day, subhanAllah, and Allah support you to do that, mashallah, and one time you are not able because you become sick. Only in ibadah and worshiping Allah, Allah will give you the same reward. MashaAllah. It is blessing from Allah. The same if you try to fast, for example, one day, or let's say if you try to uh, pray a night in one day or one night. And you are used to pray not every night one, yeah, it's the night. You will be you used to pray two raka every night. Every night you will used to pray two raka, two raka, and you one one day you become sick. You cannot. Allah will give you the same reward. Because subhanAllah, Allah yeah, generous. Allah is the most generous. Allah Kareem. Allah will shakur uh, halim. Allah is yani, He will thank you because Allah. He record whatever you are doing in this dunya, in this life. So take the chance that you are young, you are still young, and you can do a lot of habits, whatever the things you are doing repeatedly, change it to a worship things. By your intention, intend that you are doing this for the sake of Allah. So if you something is stopping you from doing this continuous ibadah or continuous worship, Allah will give you the same reward. Allah, inshallah. So fasting Ramadan. So subhanAllah, the things that we pack to Ramadan, the things that it will uh, yani, take benefit from fasting Ramadan is to increase taqwa. Increase taqwa. How to increase taqwa? Taqwa is to be a righteous people, right? Righteous person. To be uh, uh, conscious to you what you are doing, to be yeah, to fear Allah. This is taqwa. To fear Allah and to watch Allah in in every single deed you're trying to do, and yani even you're you're trying to 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 look to something or things that this is and you fear Allah that oh no I I will not do that. This is taqwa. This is fearing Allah. To fear Allah from His punishment. 
and to ask Allah on with his forgiveness. So in Ramadan, by fasting Ramadan, that will help us to increase that taqwa, to increase that fear from Allah, to be more yani, closer to Allah. And how we are increasing that? By not eating or drinking. They will know that, that Ramadan is not eating or drinking. This is fasting. This is only during the day, during the day. But during the night, you can eat and drink and also to watch your action and speech. What that means? In fasting, you are not only fasting from eating or drinking, also you're, you're, you, 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 you are fasting from the bad things that your tongue, he should also stop, not only eating or drinking, also the bad things, you should stop it. The bad action, you should stop it. Anything that you are used to do it, you should stop it in Ramadan. And not only Ramadan, all the year, but however, in Ramadan, it is very, very, very important to start doing that and to continue like this. So, subhanAllah, what is the reward? As I mentioned, there is a lot of rewards that you will gain from that, from fasting Ramadan. So the reward of fasting Ramadan is that all of you previous sins will be forgiven. Imagine that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, خَابَ وَخَسِرْ خَابَ وَخَسِرْ مَنْ أَدْرَكَ رَمَضَانُ وَلَمْ يُخْفِرْ لَهُ What that means in English? So Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, يعني, the one who will face a lot of regret and he will be the loser. And he will be like, yani, feel a lot of regret, and he is, he is not in uh, from the winners. That he will witness holy months of Ramadan. Yet Allah will not forgive him. Imagine that someone from Ummat Muhammad or or even from mankind that he wit he will witness the fully or holy months of Ramadan. Yet. After Ramadan will finish, Allah will not still will not forgive him. So exactly, this is not a good sign, right? A good a good sign for him. It is not a good indication that he is a true believer. So one of the things that it is really easy to get, Allah make easy for all of us, inshallah. Yani it is not easy without Yani Allah support. If Allah will make it easy for you, it will be so easy. But Allah actually, yani He wanted us to be more closer to Him. He opened the gates of heaven and He closed the gates of fire, and the the evils are restricted and they already, yani in in in, in closed chains. Yeah, they cannot move around. They already in in the yani in closed areas. They cannot actually. Yani, yani, be free and do, yani, go run away like the, that they are doing in any month else. In Ramadan, the evils, they cannot, they cannot do anything. They are khalas, closed, enclosed area. They are sh already shamed. So this opportunity for you to be closer to Allah and to seek Allah's forgiveness. What is the else rewards that you will gain from Ramadan? For fasting Ramadan, is most love deep to Allah. It's actually as a fasting, fasting action. Allah always like or loves the fasting, the fasting and the fasting people, Allah loves them a lot. So this reward of fasting that you will be more closer to Allah with these good deeds. And there is a gate in, in heaven, it is special for the people that they are fasting. It's called Babur Rayyan. And the only enter who enter from this gate the paradise, he only that he used to fast. Allah will allow them, only the fasting people, to enter the heavens from this gate only, Rayyan gate. It's only special for them, the people that they are used to fast. So the fasting, subhanAllah, it will open you, open you a very big gate to paradise, to Jannah. SubhanAllah. So why not we'll keep practice it after Ramadan as well? So also fasting protect you from the fire of hell. Definitely, subhanAllah, man sama yawman fi sabilillah, yani ba'da Allahu bayin hu bayin nar sabayin kharifan. 
So whoever is doing fasting, Allah will protect him from the fire, from the fire and from the fire of hell. يعني, it is really, 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 يعني, um, so love to Allah. If you are fasting and you are keeping this as a practice after Ramadan, يعني, you can say Monday and Wednesday, uh, sorry, and Thursday as Prophet Muhammad, this be of him, uh, did. He used to do it like that. He will fast. He used to fast Monday, each Monday and each Thursday. If you keep that same practice as Prophet Muhammad, this be upon him, did. Uh, actually, you will, mashallah, mashallah, يعني, you will guarantee at least one gate to Jannah, which is the gate of Rayyan, Bab al Rayyan. So, those who complete the compulsory fast in Ramadan and also do some extra fasting in other months, which is not compulsory, as I told, يعني, it's not mandatory to fast the other days. The mandatory thing is to fast the months of Ramadan. As mashallah, all of you know, this is uh, uh, some Ramadan is one of the pillar of Islam. It is mandatory. It is compulsory to fast, to fast the month of Ramadan. However, in the other days, it is not compulsory. However, as I said, it is very highly recommended that you be closer to Allah by this good deed to fast always. So that I said that you will enter a special gate which called Rayyan. And this gate is especially for those who fast and no one else will be allowed to go through it except the people that they are used to fast. So uh, any one of you, if you want to participate with me, you are so welcome, no problem. Please uh, raise your hand and I will welcome anyone to speak about Ramadan uh, before we close our session today. And before we start to say that we oh we should be ready to Ramadan. Yani in Ramadan, this is the thing that we need to keep our eyes to do it as a relationship to others. Imagine that you in Ramadan, you are not in worship to Allah, yani be, between you and Allah only. Whatever the relationship, whatever the good deeds that you are interacting with others, the conversations to others, the speech to others, the daily um, relationship between you and your father, your parents, your 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 your, your, your spouse, your 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 wife, your husband, in in your workplace as well, your colleagues, your manager, whoever you are dealing with them, your office boy in the workplace. The one who is cleaning your car or the, the neighbors that they are close to you in the in the area that you are living or staying, all the people that are surrounding you, you will be tested. You will be tested during the month of Ramadan. And this is how you will be a good manner during Ramadan. It is not only about praying and fasting and just uh, keeping uh, reciting Quran and do a night prayer. And that's it, you are you will win. No. Remember that that you are in community. How you deal with others, how you talk with them. Are you talking with them politely? Are you always smiling? Are you are trying to help others? Are you kind for them? If there is someone of your friends or your colleagues in absent or in a bad condition, are you trying to be kind with him? Are you trying to be so close to him? You're trying to call him, you're trying to support him. Are you are so kind to others? Are you are saying salam? Yani when you are moving around in your area or in your workplace or in your um, on your place that you are staying, are you stay? You are saying salam to others. You are saying jazakumullah khairan. Are you saying that you are saying thanks to others? Are you very nice person? That all the, the people that will love you, actually. Are you used to say the word to please or you are using to be polite to others when you ask for support or for ask for help? We need to be that. We need as a Muslims to be that person always. We should not be so tough to others, especially between us as a Muslims. So we need to be so close and so kind to each other. We need to be having a lot of mercy between others as well. So Allah will give us all of his mercy in the day of judgment, insha'Allah. Whoever Allah will give them mercy in the, in the day of judgment, those people that they are, يعني, practice mercy between themselves in this life. So subhanAllah, if you are so kind to others, wallahi, this is, Allah will, will love you. 
يعني when you are doing a good deed when you are trying to be so kind this is this is actually actually what we will gain what is well what things that you will be actually in the first top i will tell you things allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will and he may forgive everything in sake of him يعني if you يعني if you forget to do some worship and if you do a good things between you and Allah only Allah is is, is all forgiver Allah of whom Rahim Allah if you seek Allah forgiveness Allah will forgive you and if you uh, bust and died uh, in, in the sake of ta in, in, in Tawheed and you are only worship him only and you are not as you should any anyone with him during your worship Allah will forgive you in the day of judgment because of the things that you yeah, lacking to do it in the dunya you are not in the good deeds you are not doing good deeds with allah allah will forgive you however for the people because allah يعني, is it allah يعني, has all justice and allah will not يعني, leave anyone in this life without be just, just with him without being fair with him so in, in dealing with others with the people uh, allah يعني, you will not guarantee the forgiveness because it depends it depends on others that they will forgive you or not so it is very important it's very critical as well very critical if you are dealing with other bad and you are going with fasting and يعني, standing all the night and you mashallah very good uh, uh, in charity and you will not leave any compulsory prayer and you are doing even all other non-compulsory prayer and you mashallah do a lot of things very good in sake of Allah but you are dealing other badly this will not help you in the day of judgment this will not help you because those people that you are dealing with them bad they will gain unfortunately a lot of rewards from you at that time and you will not be that winner because they will take a lot of your hasanat a lot of your rewards whatever you have so as allah said man jaa man jaa man jaa bil hasanati falahu khayrun minha imagine that allah said in quran whoever will come with a reward so if you don't reward in this life that doesn't mean that you will meet allah with the same reward because to keep the reward, to keep it, to keep it with you and you bring it with you to, when you are meeting Allah, it is not easy. Because how you keep it by dealing others good. If you are dealing others badly, this reward that you will gain in the dunya, maybe you will not take it with you in the hereafter. It will be, uh, it will be leaked, it will be dropped because you are dealing others badly. So subhanallah, we need to consider that. And whoever tell you any bad things in Ramadan, tell him, Allahumma inni su'im, inni su'im. Don't, uh, don't reply to anyone who yani, dealing with you badly, who's cheating with you, or he's saying bad things in front of you, or he's trying to irritate you. Don't tell him anything bad. Just tell, oh, uh, oh I, am, I am fasting. Allahumma inni su'im, inni su'im. That's it be patient and try to keep your fasting try to keep the rewards try to keep the good deeds with you inshallah you will take it with you inshallah in the hereafter when you meet allah in the day of judgment you will take all of these good rewards if you keep it with you if you are patient if you are dealing others with good manners inshallah allah will reward you and inshallah you will take all of these good deeds, deeds with you inshallah when you will meet allah إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم. So brothers and sisters, the time passed quickly, and I think it's close to one hour completely. I will stop here, and I will close my lecture today with you. يعني سبحان الله يعني it was very nice to speak with you today. إن شاء الله we will meet again after Ramadan to continue our study to the Islamic books. Insha'Allah, we'll continue together to grade two onwards until we finish, insha'Allah, grade 12. And every book from these Islamic studies books have a lot of benefits, had a lot of knowledge. Please try to be part of the lectures. You will gain a lot of, a lot of knowledge. Believe me, you will be uh, 
يعني one day a very good teachers to others you will teach other Islam why not you can you are qualified and mashallah uh, by keeping practice uh, the conversation the English conversation the Islamic topics you will be every day much better than than yesterday so uh, I will leave another chance if whoever want to raise uh, and chase any things before I leave please raise your hand uh, otherwise uh, I will finish and I will close and I need to tell you all of you Ramadan Kareem ويا رب ان شاء الله اشوفكم دايما بخير وصحة وسعادة. Uh, to continue the same after Ramadan. So try to try in Ramadan to uh, يعني do any action that you need to keep it. For example, Fajr prayer. If you are not doing the Fajr prayer, try in Ramadan to do Fajr prayer every day. Inshallah, 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 you will be in that good deeds after Ramadan. Inshallah, shariat, for example, if you are not that man that he is doing shariatin, try to practice this kind of good deeds in Ramadan. Inshallah, inshallah, you as a character, you will change it yani, yani completely because you used to do these things in Ramadan. So after Ramadan, you will find some things that you need to continue. You need to continue. So this is good that you start the things that you are not doing in Ramadan, uh, yeah, before Ramadan, do it in Ramadan. If you are not a good reader, like me, <laughs> yeah, if you are not trying, yeah, 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 try to read books in, in Ramadan, try to read, try to read, try to read more, more and more. You will find this a good practice for you after Ramadan that you will continue reading as well. So, um, anyone has any question before I leave? Okay, جزاكم الله كل خير ورمضان كريم عليكم إن شاء الله ربنا يبلغنا رمضان وكل عام أنتم بخير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته.